Good morning, skiers and riders. This is Eli with your 5 a.m. snow report for Sunday, January 29th. And it's another, and it's another, and it's another, and it's another powder day in the boat. At Mid Mountain, we've had 11 new inches of snow in the past 24 hours, with six inches falling since the mountain closed yesterday. At the summit, we've had 16 new inches of snow in the past 24 hours. Our Mid Mountain base is 85 inches. The temperature is 15 degrees. Winds are zero to five miles per hour with this weekend snowfall. We've now seen over 115 inches fall at Mid Mountain in January alone, making for back to back months of over 100 inches and over 300 inches total on the season thus far. Steamboats on track for a record breaking snow season. 302 inches so far and it's not even February. As incredible as this season's been, there's a few things that I want you to start thinking about. The first one is snow load on your roof. The second one is the spring runoff. Once all this starts melting, that's a lot of water into the ground. And the third is water sensor detector. So stay tuned. So I'm often asked, hey, Charlie, do I need to shovel my roof? And that's a really hard question because every home in Steamboat is different. However, most newer homes in Steamboat are engineered to hold the snow and probably don't need to be shoveled. But many older homes were not built to current snow load requirements and thus might need further evaluation. The American Society of Civil Engineers issued standards for snow loads on roofs, but that was back in 1988. So if your home was built prior to 1988, you just never know if it can withstand this much snow. Even if your home was built after 1980, 1988, doesn't mean that it can withstand this much snow because it's kind of up to each builder uh, to adhere to those standards. Snow loads is measured by cubic feet per foot. Light, fluffy snow like this is about 3.7 pounds per cubic foot. Wind and dense snow is about 15 pounds per cubic foot. Uh, really wet snow and ice is actually 40 to 50 pounds per, per cubic foot. So it really varies on the weather, the sun, the shade, wind, rain, heat loss that you get from your house all have an effect on the pounds per cubic foot on your roof. But the weight of the snow is not the only reason you should be considering shoveling your roof. When the snow is super deep and possibly wind is blowing it around and the snow starts to drift up against your house, which it's not doing right here, but many houses, the, the wind will blow and the snow will drift up against the house. And if you don't have adequate flashing between your wall and your roof, then possibly snow could get up there. And when it melts, water can penetrate and often cause leaking within the house. So it's not just the weight of the snow, it's where the snow is accumulating on your roof against your walls, against your chimneys, any number of places this snow can fly around and really penetrate your house and cause great havoc on your house. So while the vast majority of homes in Steamboat don't necessarily require roof shoveling based on weight alone, many homes might require some specific areas to be shoveled. Here's some warning signs to be aware of. Icicles and ice buildup. Remember, ice is a lot heavier than snow. So if you have areas where there's a lot of ice prevalent, that may be an area where you may need to remove some snow and possibly chip away some of the ice. Besides icicles and ice dams, there's also interior visible signs of overstressing. So obviously cracks in the drywall and the ceiling and the corners. Um, odd kind of creaking sounds, obviously sagging ceilings and visible signs of water up in the ceiling are all indications that maybe you need to start removing some snow or ice from your, from your roof. If you're still uncertain about whether or not you should shovel your roof, we'll probably call a structural engineer or a contractor that hopefully built your house and they could shed a little bit more light on that. It's probably best to err on the side of caution and at least monitor it and shovel areas that may need it. Now, yes, the snow is amazing, but next I wanna talk about in the springtime when this snow starts to melt 
there's gonna be a lot of water into the ground and we need to talk about sump pumps. A lot of homes in Steamboat Springs have a sump pump. What sump pumps do are they take the groundwater that comes from the snow melt and infiltrates around the house and kind of percolates up from the ground. Um, so the sump pump removes that groundwater and exits it further away from the house. A lot of sump pumps can be in a crawl space like I'm in or in a basement, uh, possibly a cutout spot in your basement where the sump pump is below grade or below your concrete. If you don't know whether or not you have a sump pump, give me a call, I'll come take a look. So basically, what you want to do is make sure your sump pump is operable every springtime. Make sure that it does come on. Some sump pumps are on 24 seven. If you have a lot of groundwater in near your house, uh, your pump could be running 24 seven. Some sump pumps come on every 10 minutes, some every hour. It really depends on how much groundwater comes up in your specific area. Um, but some pumps fail and so I urge you to either have a backup sump pump on hand, make sure that Ace has some that are gonna work for you. Um, and lastly, you, what you want is a, a water sensor guide. Um, I also made a video about these. Uh, click the link above or in the description below. This is a Govi water sensor. Um, I have about six throughout my house. I have one near my sump pump, dishwasher underneath sinks, washing machine things like that so this govi this little sensor if my sump pump were to fail uh, not only will alarm sound here right at the device but uh, my app will give me an alarm on my phone and so i can look at my app and say oh my god my sump pump has failed because that alarm is going off so not only do you need to be aware and prepare your sump pump for a big spring have a couple sump pumps or at least a backup plan if your sump pump fails um, and also have a water sensor device somewhere near your sump pump so you can get a alert should your sump pump fail because again you don't want a swimming pool in your crawl space thanks again for watching i hope you learned a little bit about snow on the roof water in the ground um, if you have any real estate questions feel free to give me a call send me a text or an email i'm charlie dresden thanks again while that's great for the rivers and the fish, and I can... Month. Steamboat, Steamboat is on track. Steamboat is on track.